Hi folks, welcome to Ferrum Wrestling 411. I'm your host Gary Holden. With me of course is head wrestling coach Nate Yetzer. Nate, welcome back. Hey Gary, thank you, appreciate it. Tell me about how things went this summer for you. Vacation it went plans? Great. Yeah, but, uh, we went to, um, in the spring I went to Hawaii actually to visit, or my uh, little brother got married in Hawaii and went to his wedding and um, came back and you know we've been to the beach a few times, uh, went to a couple national parks with the family and, and uh, went to Ohio to see my family and you know, in between all that, we crammed some camps and stuff in there, and, and uh, it was a great summer. I, I can't believe it was over already, but um, I, I always enjoy this time of year. You, you know, you get new faces on campus, and um, obviously been a lot of changes around here, which, you know, it, it was well needed, and, and, and I think it's going to be positive changes. So Good, good. Well, it was a busy summer. There's no yeah. doubt about it. I got a chance to go up to New Hampshire to visit with my brother and sister. Spent, yeah. spent about a half a week with them, about five days with them, so it was pretty good. And I haven't seen them since last summer, so right. it's great to catch up with them and everything. And other than that, it has been just one thing after yeah, the other absolutely. this summer. It's been super fast, and it's here we are. We're starting off the uh, the new school year. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, then obviously we brought Logan Meister on board. Um, yep, yeah, yep. And uh, I don't, I put a little stuff on social media about that, but super excited to have him on board. And Logan's um, a strength conditioning guy, so that's yep. got to be a double oh, plus huge, for you. Yeah. One of the best, the, probably the best wrestler we've ever had. And you get a strength conditioning guy to, to boot coming back to help Absolutely. you and everything. Absolutely. So. And somebody that's passionate about Ferrum College and sure. knows our mission and, and what we're all about. And I think that that's huge. Um, you don't really have to coach him up on that, you know. And I'm just a great hard worker and, and uh, it's really mature. It's been fun to watch him mature the last three or four years, um, you know, just as, as, as a person, as a coach. And uh, he's going to do big things. So. And it, from a recruiting standpoint, it's got to be good to have one of your alums back and doing this because they're basically selling their degree. Right, absolutely. You know, they're they're yeah. telling you why they came to Ferrum, why it's important for them for absolutely. to come to Ferrum. So. Absolutely, no, no doubt. So I'm really excited. And then obviously Colin Saunders, who's used up his eligibility last year, mm -hmm. he's got another year of school, so he's actually going to be our, our uh, kind of our student assistant this good, year. And good. I'm really excited to have him on board. He, you know, he brings you know, Colin's you know, great heart and, and great wrestling mind, and um, he'll do a really good job um, you know, with our guys as well, too. So I'm really excited. Now, we obviously have a full staff now, and uh, with Coach Riggs being back in his, yep. in his fourth year, I believe, is his yep. fourth year. Um, you know, third or second is his associate coach. And um, I just think, you know, we got so much positive momentum, you know, and uh, you know, I couldn't be more excited. A great class coming in as well, too. He's intense. I love watching Coach Riggs yep. coach in the corner. He's, he, he tells you what he thinks yep. and everything, Absolutely. and he gets yep. after yep. it. So. It's, it's, you know, obviously, it's always important to have different personalities in your coaching staff, I think, as long as you're all going the same direction and have the same goals. And what we do as a staff, um, I think it's always good. I've always, I always like guys who won't always just say yes to me. You know, I don't like yes men. I want guys that you know that will challenge me and also will you know, uh, you know, in a positive way, obviously, and, and, and then I'll, you know, uh, bring different ideas to the table. And I think both those guys do that. So, good, good. Yeah. Well, excited about the staff. Let's talk a little bit about some new wrestlers. Yep. We're gonna talk. Um, what we're gonna do, folks, is we're gonna talk the next three weeks. We're gonna talk about the recruiting class: 125, 133, 141. This week. 49, 57, 65 the following yeah. week, and then we'll hit the last four weight classes the right. third time. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's jump right into it. 125, yeah. 133, 141. Clearly your strongest three weight classes returning. You've got right. two guys that were NCAA qualifiers and both ended up being All-Americans. And then you've got, that's at 133 and 141. 125, you got a freshman who comes, or sophomore coming back from last year, and he was a match away from right. going. And then right after them, you've got 149, you've got a weight class where there's another wrestler who was a match away from going right. against each yep, other. Yep. So the lightweights have got to be something. you got to feel pretty good about your lightweights coming out of the I, do, I, do, I feel really good, you know, and we added a lot of depth to that, those weights too. We, we had some good guys, but we didn't have a lot of depth that down low. Um, and then Austin Smith at 49, which we'll talk right. about next week. But, right. um, you know, so those four, those first four weights, I'm, I'm really excited about just because we have a lot of experience there. And um, but no, we just we added to uh, obviously added, you know, five or six really good guys there. I think guys that are going to be uh, you know key players. I think down the road and, and uh, you know some this year maybe. So How about 125 pounds. What yeah. are you coming in? Uh, JD McMillan, a state champ from Palatine, Virginia. Yep. And I know JD. JD has been I think eighth grader or, or seventh or eighth grader. You used to go out and do clinics and stuff yep. out Palatine, right? Yeah, Palatine, uh, the Black Hawk Wrestling Club. We used to go out there and do clinics every summer, and, and uh, you know, it's been fun seeing his progression as you know a youngster, a real small, little skinny kid, into what he is now. You know, and, and I, mean, I think he's got a super bright future. You know, great family uh, around him, um, great support system, and um, you know, just a hard worker. I mean, he's, he's a guy that's gonna put on his hard hat and come to work every day. So I'm excited about him. Um, you know, Tanner Culberson is a kid from uh, South Carolina. Um, you know, um, and I think Tanner's got a lot to prove, which is awesome. You know, one thing we look for in recruits are guys who are maybe unfulfilled with their high school career, and they want to, and they have a chip on their shoulder, and they're willing to do do the extra. And, they're still passionate about it and they're still chasing that goal. So, 
But Tanner's one of those guys who I think um, has a lot of upside to him. Um, great guy, and, and uh, he's the type of guy I like. Keeps his mouth shut, works really hard. You know what I mean? So. Um, and those kids sick. are hungry too. Absolutely. Yeah. They have, they're yep. not. They're not fulfilled yet, like you said, and yep. they just they, they still want to get something. And sometimes they get to college and they turn the corner and they are there. You right. Know? Absolutely. Blake Rosenbaum, super yep. example. Came here and he was. Still he actually reminds me a lot of Blake yeah. in a lot of ways. Yep. You know what I mean, and. Uh, um, and obviously, Blake, you know, ended up I think more wins than anybody else we've had here yep. at Ferrum. So NCAA qualifier as a senior, absolutely, yep. And yep. most pins too, fifty pins in his career. Yeah. That's, that's, pretty that's a record, Blake. Blake, you set the bar pretty high right yeah, there. It's gonna be it tough is. to get that it one. It is, it is. You know? um, Latrell Davidson from uh, I, I believe he's from uh, Lynchburg area, but I believe yep. Heritage High School, I okay. think. Um, but he's uh, he's done a great job, you know. So um, you know, he was just you know, communicating with us throughout the summer and. Um, I, I think he has a huge upside too. You know, I, I do think he's got probably some size, but you know, um, you know, I think being in the weight room a lot, as much time as we spend in the weight room, I think mm -hmm. he'll have no problem getting bigger and, and stronger. Jalen White, you know, obviously a returner for us. His issue last year was just being bigger. He needed to get bigger, and it looks like he put on some weight over the summer, a good weight. Yeah. So, um, so will I'm, he still be down twenty five as yes, well? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, while some okay. dog fights down there, that, you know, down in lower weights. So. Uh, another uh, another uh, weight, uh, the next weight up, 133. We got Oleg Johnson from Westfield High School. Mm -hmm. Up um, the D.C. Beltway. Yep, absolutely. Really excited about Oleg. Oleg's another guy I think that um, left high school, you know, with something to prove. And uh, I think he's been working hard um, during the summer. And you can tell his body looks good and looks like he's ready to go. And, um, and I think he's, I think he's, he wants to really take on Levi Engelman, a return All-American. And, um, you know, I think he's willing to work, you know, to, to, to catch Levi. So, um, I'm really excited about him as well too. And, and then uh, 41, um, our first commit of this class back in October, I believe, uh, Hayden Funk uh, from Pennsylvania. Great wrestling um, name. Yeah, yep, absolutely. Funk. Yep. yep, he's he's. Uh, I think he's gonna be a special kid. I mean, you know, reminds me a lot of uh, some like JD, where he was a hardworking kid and a great support system around him. And um, it always helps to get a kid from you know New Jersey or Pennsylvania just because. Every tournament they go to throughout the season, you know, there's always really good kids in those weights, and they have to they have to learn how to grind through, you know, grind through the season mm -hmm. with somebody with so much great competition. And so I think this is going to be, uh, you know, no different for Hayden, I guess. You know, and, and uh, I'm really excited about him. I think he's a lot of, a lot of potential. It's got to be neat for you to see. You know, you've got a strong threesome back in the in the well, really a 149 as well with mm -hmm. with, um, with Austin and everything. But in the lightweights, you've got such great returners coming back, but then you're filling it with guys that are right behind them. And, right. and we all know injuries happen, uh, sicknesses, yeah. and all of a sudden, you know, you're 133 pounders out, and you've got to feel good about the kid that you're putting out absolutely. there. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, you got to feel good about, all right, he's not just going to go out there and, you know, try to stay off his back. We're expecting you to get a win, and if you can get a pin, we need that pin for you. Right, absolutely. So, yeah, I, I think, you know, we're in a good position as a program, and it's only going to get better, I really do believe now with another coach, is, you know, uh, we're building depth at each weight. You know, when I don't think we've ever had that before. Um, you know, there's been years, and, and the last year was probably the best year we had as far as being too deep at like four or five weights, you know, and, and uh, uh, with really competitive weights, you know what I mean? And, um, la you know, we had a couple weights last year where, you know, with the, the, the top guy was by far, by far the, the best guy. I think that's really changed a little bit. And now every weight I think we're going to be competitive at uh, with two or three guys competing for the spot. It's it's great, good. great problem to have. Yep, absolutely. Super yep. problem to have. I know yep. a lot of coaches, and especially with the lightweights, you know, the bookends seem to be the toughest ones. Fill in 125, yep. 133, fill in 197, and, and, and heavyweight or 285, right. especially the upper upper one and the lower one. So you're doing well if you're if you're having yeah. a, lot of, a lot of competition. We'll talk about the heavyweight or heavier weights in a couple weeks and everything. So let's talk a little bit about your um, your season for the fall. Right. right. So uh, just to highlight a few events, um, but you know obviously we're going back to Citrus Invitational this year down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Okay. Um, you know, you know, it's a great way to break up winter break. You know, we're down there for you know four or five days, and, and it's nice. The weather's really nice, and hopefully no hurricanes or anything. But I've heard rumors that it's that it's a good thing for um, for athletic administrators to come down to chaperone the teams yep. and everything. Absolutely, yeah, so absolutely, yeah. I'll, I'll see if I can work on that. Uh, I would, and I would fly if I were you. But <laughs> long bus trip. But we'll uh, jump on the bus with the team. Yeah, there you go. We administrators, we gotta we gotta experience the same thing the athletes. <laughs> exactly. Through, so exactly. So you know, last year was our first year going down. This year will be a little more seasoned. We're gonna stay. We're gonna stay closer to the venue. I was kind of a pain going back and forth, and uh, we're actually staying a block from the beach this year. Um, nice. The place we're staying at, and um, you can walk to the facility. So um, nice. yeah, it's just it's a great event to break up the winter, but also the competition's uh, you know really really good. And it was good last year. We ended up finishing second as a team sure. um, without um, our 97 pounder, who would have been in the finals probably, and we won the tournament. But um, we lost to RIT, and I think they're black back next year. But also Augsburg, defending national champions, will be wow. there. Wow. Okay. Um, and then I, I believe. 
it's like four or five teams that finish the top 15 in the country will be there as well too. So it says something about the quality of the tournament that yep. they're attracting better teams. Absolutely. When you start seeing things like that, you're like, okay, we, we really have to you know kind of put the headgears on a little right. bit tighter this time and, and yep. get ready to roll. Yep, absolutely. Good. Good. What else you got? Uh, I, uh, pretty much the same schedule. We've got Virginia Duels again, um, and then we're going to the Pete Wilson in Chicago, uh, which is the toughest Division Three tournament in the country. Right, um, right. And, and you then, guys have uh, done well at that as well. You placed second a couple of years yes, ago. Yes, yep. You finished second uh, two years ago, I think, yep. uh, two or three years ago. Yep, yep. took second. And then um, the last couple of years, we, we haven't been able to bring our, our uh, all of our starters. Uh, we had some guys out, um, you know, injured and that sort of thing. So this year, I'm hoping we're completely healthy, go out there and compete for a championship. So uh, I feel pretty good about that. Um, okay. Season gets winds down towards the end. You have the conference. Um, Conference meet, and right. then you have oh, your regionals, and then the NCAA tournament. NCAA tournament yeah. this year is uh, Cedar Rapids, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, Iowa yeah. and everything. Uh, we met the folks from Cedar Rapids last year when we hosted the NCAA tournament. Right. Um, talk a little bit about regionals. Where right. do we know where the regionals are at this year? Uh, it, it, it'd be Messiah, Messiah, Messiah College, yep, okay. um, so. up in uh, Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania, I think. Okay. Um, so I'm excited, excited to get up there. And Pretty early to have a, a, a regional, at least in this region, already decided. Yeah, yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, yeah. The last few years has been kind of down on the wire, I guess, as far as knowing what the location is. But Messiah got on early, and um, they're probably. They're probably the co-favorites to win it this year. Um, I think they, they, they won it last year and returned about their whole team from last year. Mm -hmm. um, I think nine out of the ten guys that returned. And then uh, Stevens enters our region this year. Stevens Tech is uh, yep, back. Yep. yep, and they, uh, they'll have, they'll probably start off the year having five guys ranked in the top ten in the country. Wow. So they, they'll, they'll have a nice, solid team. And, uh, they're probably the co-favorites, I'd say. And then, um, you know, there's, there's, you know, we're probably in the mix in the top five for, Good. I guess, preseason. Good. Just because we're so young. But, um, yep. Yeah, I think the one thing we've, we've done really well at is we, we, we peak at the right times, you know. And um, last year, I thought we did a really good at regionals. I'm super proud of our guys, um, considering, considering some of the, uh, the things we had to deal with. Um, and then, um, you know, in the finish second by only three or four points. Six, points. six, six points. Six and a half points, yeah, exactly. You did points. it with nine wrestlers. Yep, nine so, guys. And had yeah. nine placers. Yeah. Um, and the, but then, then the nationals, obviously, I thought we had a, a really good national tournament. Maybe not the first round, but the second round, third, fourth round, they wrestled really well. So. Yeah, it was, it was exciting. That was, yeah. And that whole thing, that had to be exciting for you as a coach, Coach right. Riggs, the athletes, being able to, even the ones that weren't wrestling, being able to be there and see the NCAA tournament in our backyard, basically, at the yep. Roanoke. Yep, absolutely. Yep, and, and um, yeah, I hope we can do it again. I thought it was great. Yep, yep. I know the bids have gone out for the next cycle of NCAA tournaments. I think it's 2023, 24, 25, and 26. Okay. And we intend to put in yep. bids. They're due in February. They, it's, it's already been opened up, and I think they, they're due in like February 10th or something. Okay, so great. We will, we will intend to put in uh, bids yeah. again to see if we can attract another one. It's a great thing for the uh, the Roanoke Valley. The people at VBR Sports did an amazing job. The people at the Berkland Center right. did an amazing yep. job, and we we want to attract teams down to southwestern Virginia again for uh, another Yeah, and I think it'll be even better next time. I just sure. think there was things that, that, very few things that we could have done better, but man, I, I just think uh, overall it was an outstanding tournament. Just a great location, you know. And it's, you know, it's funny, this, uh, I think the Road of the Valley is just, you know, it's a great wrestling community, sure. you know what I mean? And I think, um, you know, with obviously Virginia Tech having success and us having success, I think it's only really, so we get better as well too. Excuse me. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'm excited about it. Everything. All right. Let's talk about the next show. I'll be coming back here in a couple weeks. Yep. Uh, yeah. I think you know until the season. We'll probably do it every two weeks until the season starts. And then okay. we'll probably do it about once a week. You know. And, right. and uh, um, yeah. And then you know, and, and uh, kind of give everybody an update. And you know, obviously we shoot out emails well too. And one thing with the schedule as well too, we're going to do this year. Uh, we're actually having them. Uh, and everybody should be getting an email. Um, if, if you don't get emails from us, and, you know, please feel free to email me and I'll add you to our list. But we're going to be email having... address n y e t z e r at ferrum edu. Yep, okay. absolutely. And and, uh, um, and you know we're going to be doing a social. Um, the one thing I want to do is you know make it more fan friendly, I guess. And we're going to be doing a social at Virginia Duels, a social in, in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, nice. Citrus Invitational. And when, uh, we're doing one in a couple weeks up in Maryland. Just a, uh, we're doing a clinic up there for the community and um, kind of volunteer basis, and then uh, have a little social after that. So, nice. Yeah. So alumni, parents, uh, friends, anything. Uh, contact Coach Yetzer. Yeah. Keep you keep you posted on what's been going on and everything, and we'll move forward from there. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Well, Nate, thanks so much for being yeah. on the show, Probably. folks. That's the end of the first episode of Fair and Wrestling 411. I'm Gary Holden for Nate Yetzer. Thanks for being here. Have a great day.